Hey guys, Mr. Brighting here to talk about gravity and work and introduce you guys to this unit and to talk about the new vocabulary for it. Um, so in essence, in this unit you're going to be learning a lot about uh, gravity, work, power, um, and those concepts. And that will lead to you having a better understanding of energy. Um, so overall, to have a basic understanding of the force of gravity and the idea of work. Um, you'll also be going a little bit into power. So if you look down at the success criteria, obviously we need to know the vocabulary as always. Um, <clears throat> be able to describe how gravity is a force that requires energy to resist. Be able to explain how the concept of gravity is related to F equals MA. Be able to describe the relationship between energy, work, and power. And then be able to do a simple and com do simple and complex calculations for work, power, velocity, um, following objects, force due to gravity. So um, you will be getting a worksheet for that that will help you um, practice for those. And that will be pretty much from very easy calculations to medium to hard to insanely complex ones. Um, <clears throat> For this unit, there's only going to be one lab. You're not going to do the IV lab. The reason why is because you're going to have a little bit more time to work on the calculations. So, vocabulary. We have gravity. Um, gravity is a force. Um, and the force varies. The force varies depending on the mass of an object. So, obviously, the more mass an object has, the more force due to gravity. Um, and we call that weight. Um, here on Earth, the amount of force, or the force due to gravity, is 9.8 newtons for every one kilogram of mass. So if something has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, then here on Earth it's going to be 9,800 newtons. Um, we have work. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions with work is um, all you have to do is put a force on an object. Uh, the problem with that is if you put a force on an object and you do not move at a distance, then that means you did no work. Uh, power, power is pretty much how fast you do work. We often see power, uh, whenever it comes to our electronics, we'll see like 60 watts, 10 watts, 5 watts, whatever, how much ever power the device takes. And that's just telling us how many joules of energy it uses every single second. So if it's 60 watts, then that means it's going to use 60 joules of energy every second. And since I'm talking about joules, one joule is equal to pushing one object with a force of one newton over a distance of one meter. And that applies to pretty much any time we are measuring energy, we talk about the joule. The reason why we always have it in the joule is because energy can transform from one type to another. There's a lot of different types of energy, guys. Um, and I have them listed right here. Thermal, mechanical, chemical, electromagnetic, and sound. Um, and those are major categories. Um, because mechanical, you have to figure that's, you know, you have kinetic potential. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, that is why we pretty much measure energy in joules, is because there's tons of different types of energy. Um, Alright, and then the watts. I was talking about watts. Um, this is how we measure the power. Um, and again, one watt is like using one joule every second. So like I said, if you use, uh, if your power is 10 watts, then that means that you are using 10 joules every second. And that is it for the vocab. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Other than that, see you guys next time.